So the Blocksburg Christmas update came out a few weeks ago and the first thing I noticed is what on earth is this thing right here? That is a dollhouse. And if you didn't know, a couple of months ago, I had a series on my channel where I built real life dollhouses in Blocksburg. I'm not kidding. My first ever dollhouse, I was building Barbie's dollhouse up eight months ago. Oh, <gasps> what? I could have birthed a whole baby by then. I'm kidding. I don't need any more babies. I already got one million of you guys. <laughs> That's enough. So I thought in today's video, I'm going to be turning this dollhouse into an actual house and seeing how it goes. So this is the dollhouse that we're going to be turning into an actual house. The outside's pretty basic. The only thing I know for a fact that I'm going to struggle with is this roof. I'm already looking at it and I already know that I'm going to struggle with it and I'm scared and I think I might cry a little bit. That's okay because we're not there yet. And then this is the behind. I mean, no offense, but whoever picked this furniture, yeah, basic. Yeah, basic. All right. So I guess we're going to be turning this into an actual house. Let's get started. Alaska's house, more like Alaska's dollhouse. That wasn't even funny. Okay, so first thing we need to do, um, <laughs> I feel like the dollhouse needs to be on a cube right here so I can actually see what I'm doing. I think it's like eight blocks long and obviously it's two story. Technically it's three story, but that's the roof, right? So we don't count the roof. You know how happy I was when I found out Bloxburg added a dollhouse to the game? But literally the first thing that came to mind when I saw this dollhouse was, oh my god, my dollhouse series that I'd done ages ago. I don't know if any of you guys remember my dollhouse series. If you're new to my channel, you probably don't, but she was iconic. We loved her. She's an icon. She's a legend. And she is the moment. Now, come on now. Now, for the color, what color are you? You look... I mean, technically, I can paint this dollhouse and I can actually make it whatever texture I want. Oh my god, guys, I can find out what color it is just by tapping on it. Oh, okay, it's pastel brown and it's smooth plastic. Okay. Oh, wow. What a lovely colored house. Beautiful. Can't forget this little tiny patio. So looks like they used a slanted roof, kind of like on the edge here. I don't know. What I love about the slanted roof is if you press R on your keyboard, you can move it around any direction you want. Kind of makes me feel like God of the Bloxburg universe. Oh wait, I am God of the Bloxburg universe. For some reason, the slanted roof, it's not like, it's not giving when it has to. So you know what we might do instead? Oh, you guessed it, a basic shape. Also, I just want to talk about how cute you guys are. I didn't post for three days just because I like, I wasn't doing too well and I just did not have the energy to post and I was like who cares no one's gonna notice everyone was like sending me messages like Alaska are you okay and I'm like oh But don't worry guys, I'm okay. I think it's just super important for everyone to take a break when they need it. And I don't know, me personally, I felt like I just needed a little break. And this is my slanted roof, which is technically made out of a basic shape. And another thing I noticed is that they have wall trims. And then we have two little pillars at the front here. Who made this dollhouse? You know what, Bloxburg? Next time you make a dollhouse, let me know. I'll make it for you. Do you even see my Barbie dollhouse? No, but jokes aside, this dollhouse is very cute. It's kind of nostalgic for some reason. It just kind of reminds me when you first started playing Bloxburg. And you just made a very basic basic house. Also, as you can see, if we zoom in, they have a little fence at the bottom. And instead of using an actual fence, we're just going to be using pillows. Their balcony floor is more elevated, so we might use a roof and then go into the basement. Oh, I know, I'm literally such a genius. See, there we go. Oh my god, this is actually so easy. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. So next we need windows. They've got two windows at the bottom, like that. Actually, before I go place them down windows, how about we paint them first? And don't worry, we're not going to leave these windows boring and ugly. We're going to make them nice and fit. Did I just call a window fit? <laughs> Guys, I think I just broke the dollhouse. Who is in charge of this window placement, by the way? Okay, and we can't forget the windows on the side of the dollhouse either. You know what I need to do? I need to renovate this dollhouse. Every time I build something I don't like, I'm like, you know what? It's time to renovate it. Okay, what door is this? We need to do a little zoom. Oh, gotcha. It's the most basic door known to man, aka the standard door. All right, now we need the roof. Oh, God, I don't want to do the roof. Guys, how am I meant to do this? Ah, oh, okay, you follow me up here. For the roof, I think we're gonna use a basic shape. It's pretty simple. It just looks like a game brawl roof, to be honest. Is that what they call it? Game brawl roofs? Also, what I do to make my roofs um accurate, if you will, is I go in with an actual game brawl roof first, then I know where to put the basic shape. Every time I do a challenge like this, I'm like, this is so easy. And then I start on the roof and I struggle. Can't do it. You can. can't. You can do it. You can't. You can! Listen, I don't care how good of a builder you are. I think we can all agree that when it comes to roofs, we all suck. I know there's that one person watching, like, not me, but you guys stay safe though. Oh, this is so annoying. The basic shape doesn't, like, reach the top of the roof. Ugh. Okay, so I guess now we just do the same thing, but on this side. That looks messed up. I will say, though, adding a roof before you add the basic shapes is much easier. Especially if you're doing a custom roof, so. Hashtag building hacks of Alaska. You're welcome. That'll be 20 quids. Also, you know how I, like, jokingly do a British accent? 
accent sometimes. I was reading this article someone wrote about my YouTube channel. And you know what they say? British YouTuber Alaska Violet. That was like the head statement. I'm like, British? I just cannot believe there's people out there who think I'm British. Dude, this is unacceptable. Okay, roof's looking like not too bad. We're also gonna need the side of the roof, but that's easy. So goodbye. Are you joking? No, 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 no. Guys, I can't delete the room without deleting these two basic shapes. I want to cry. A few moments later. Okay, there we go. I fixed it. Okay, now we need to do this really difficult part, which is right here. I have an idea, but I don't know if it's going to work. What if we do like a wall here? Actually, to make this a little bit easier, we're going to custom make this first, okay? Wait, that's like a triangle. How on earth am I going to do a triangle? Okay, we need the window, right? W window's gonna go here. But we need to make sure this window is the same as the other windows, or then it will look stupid. Okay, it's the same size, which means now we can outline this window. Okay, like that. And then make this a triangle. How are we meant to make this a triangle? It's okay. I'm pretty sure they actually added triangles to the game, did they not? They did. They added pyramids. The kind soul who added triangles to the game. I I love you so much. I just What is that? Give me a hug. Give me a hug, I need this. So what we need to do is make this a triangle. I'm trying to do like this. But for this to work, this is going to have to be bigger. Oh, Lord, give me strength. Okay, you know, I have a solution. However, it's not going to be exactly similar to this. It's kind of just going to look like this. Which, you know what? I think that looks better. So now we're going to have to move this and put this right here. Listen, listen, please. But then I have to do the actual roof. <laughs> you guys remember when I said um I thought I was going to struggle more with this? The struggle is now beginning, I think. What is happening to this? Hello? Oh my god, this basic shape is out of control. What is going on? Can you guys see that? What? I feel like I'm seeing things. What is that? Oh my god. Oh god, there's two of them. I mean, hey, at least they're representing the merch, so... <laughs> I'm not complaining. Guys, is it too late to give up on this challenge? I'm just leaving this like this. No one's gonna notice, okay? From the front, it looks totally normal. Just don't look at it from the side, okay? All right, roof should be pretty easy. I think it's just two horizontal wedges. Not too much maths involving this, which means now we can do the back of this dollhouse. Oh my, you know what I just realized? Why did I not look at this before I actually stopped? There is a window in the roof. I did not see that window. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Oh, you're joking. No, I don't care about your window. Your window can eat my shorts. Now to make the floor accurate to the dollhouse, we're gonna be using a roof instead of a floor. This wooden floor has a brown outlayer. And also, where are these stairs going? What kind of stairs are they? Okay, I think they use some recessed stairs. First one kind of goes like here. And then the other stair goes on the opposite end. I feel like Taylor Swift in her um little era dollhouse. <laughs> Okay, I think that's pretty accurate. Another thing I noticed is that this doesn't have any lights, like, whatsoever. <laughs> right now, this is pitch black. I want to make the furniture in here all exactly the same as the actual dollhouse. So literally, the texture of everything's going to be the same, which is pretty easy because by the looks of it, everything's made out of plastic. Okay, so I guess the first thing we can do is the kitchen. By the looks of it, this is the kitchen and the dining room. And the colors of the walls down here, it looks like they're white with a few beige walls. Ugh, dreadful. These dolls have awful taste. <laughs> Ugh, these dolls really need an interior designer up in here. Actually, instead of orange, it looks like they used linen for the walls. Okay, what about the roof? You also used wood for the roof. Okay, I don't know how I feel about a wooden roof and a floor. But I mean, it's your dollhouse. I'm just copying it. Okay, I really cannot see what's going on in here. I want to add these lights in the corner, but they don't have any lights. So we're going to go in the basement instead and just outline this thing with lights. Then we can actually see what we're doing. Another little smart life hack is that you can layer these sleek ceiling lights at the back. And if you want to make sure you can't see them, just had a crown molding. All right, now for the furniture. This is the kitchen. So what do we have in the kitchen? Ah, absolutely nothing. Got it. What is this meant to be? Is this meant to be like a fridge and two counters? Well, I guess we can do that. The closest thing to whatever that is, is this fridge. Well, I guess we just make this a uh, gray fridge with two benches. They just look like white blobs, but we're going to be a little bit more fancy than that. Instead of white blobs, we can have an oven with a basic counter. And I guess we just make this white. Oh, wow. What a detailed kitchen, guys. Okay, so then opposite of the kitchen, we have the dining room. 
They literally used a simplicity dining table with what I think is simplicity chairs. But these don't have any backing, so we might use arts chairs, but just make them plastic. Every time I say the word plastic, it just reminds me of Mean Girls. Where are the plastics? Okay, that's the table. Is that it for the dining room? Is there anything else in here? I don't think so. So now we can move on to this little section, which I'm assuming is the entryway with a little tom. So we have a console table there, and then we have a lamp. But like, instead of tom, that's gonna be me. None of these console tables look like this, but obviously that is literally just a blob of nothing. So where's the flavor? We can use a wooden console table instead. I don't think I've ever used this wooden console table in my life. This is kind of cool. What the heck? Wait, I've actually never used this. Isn't that weird? I need to start using stuff in Bloxburg more often. There's just so much stuff in this game that I just never use. And then for the lighting, lean floor lamp. Oh. Oh my lord, why are you so bright? Like, calm down, there is no right for you to be that bright. Okay, so I think that's it for the first floor of the dollhouse. Hopefully the second floor is a little bit better. Spoiler alert, it's not. From an architecture point of view, why is the stairs leading directly into the bathroom? There's like absolutely no privacy in this dollhouse. Also, wow, I love the wooden wallpaper going on here. This is great. What is that, like a maroon color? I think so. As well as some wall trims by the looks of it. Okay, so next we have the bathroom. We just have a toilet and a bath in here. We don't even have a sink. These dolls have no hygiene. I'm disgusted in them. You should wash your hands, you dirty pee. But hey, maybe they wash their hands in like the toilet bowl, I don't know. Okay, that is the bathroom. Literally, that is it. It's a toilet and a bath. And then next we have the living room, which is a couch and this old, crusty, dusty 1952 TV. But I mean, hey, no hate to you. If you use these simple sofas, like look at this, they, they don't even have pillows. I would never treat my dogs with this much disrespect. But imagine how tired we are. Imagine how tired we are of it. My dolls had the best dollhouse ever. It was like a beach dollhouse. Thing is though, do we have an old TV? I'm pretty sure we do. Isn't it called like retro? Ha! Vintage view TV. This is new. Well, I mean, we can just plop that right on the floor. Oh my god. That is actually so cool. What the heck? Wow, what a living room. Oh, that's our living room. Do we have anything else in here? Nothing? That's all? Okay. And it looks like they put a little pillar here. So we need to make sure to add that. You know what though? Jokes aside if I made this into an actual house, this would be so cute. You know what I could do? It would technically be cheating, but what if I bring this in like this? No, that looks stupid. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, what's up here? We've got a couch, a lamp, and a bed, and a little chair looking out to the window, but jokes on us, we don't have a window. Cause I'm stupid. Okay, boom, chair. Copy this lamp from downstairs, put that right there, and then lastly, we got a bed. One of my friends just said, Alaska, I look like you right now. What the hell does that even mean? What do you mean by that? And I guess we'll just like pop a double bed right here. Ugh, what's with the blue bed sheets? Like, um, no. Look at them, they don't even have pillows on their bed. These dolls are psycho. Okay, I guess no pillows then. I'd say the dollhouse is complete. I do want to fix up the roof though. Because as you can see, the roof's more detailed here. So I think I'm just going to use a few large square beams and outline the top of the roof. Oh yeah, that looks heaps better than whatever this was. Okay, well, I think I successfully replicated this dollhouse into an actual house. And you're probably like, Alaska, what about the dolls? I hired them. I hired a little Susan and Tom, okay? So the dollhouse is completely finished. It comes to a total of $24,000. For me, I think that's too expensive considering the inside looks like garbage. I think most of the budget though goes to the roof. So yeah, this is my little Tom Charisma and this is my little Susan Alicia. That's why I didn't add little dolls in here because that's my little dolls. Hi, why are you talking? You're a doll. Ah! So this is the outside of the original dollhouse. This is our little replica. I think it's pretty accurate, to be honest. And then this is what the inside looks like. So, okay, follow me, little dolls. <laughs> Look how cute they are. They're so cute. Okay, this is the inside. Oh my gosh. This looks terrifyingly accurate to the dollhouse. I don't know how I feel about it. Is this our home now? Yeah, it is actually. Yeah, there's no escape. Yeah, we've got the kitchen, dining, upstairs. Oh gosh. <laughs> we have our bathroom. This is what I mean. There's no privacy. Say like no privacy whatsoever. Like, if you're coming down here and you walk upstairs, get out of my bath, you're dirtying the water. Tom has no cares. Okay, and then here we have our lounge room. Oh, wow, what a TV, guys. The only good thing about this dollhouse, to be honest, is the view out here. What a lovely TV stand. Yeah, it's such a detailed living room. Oh, the Tom and Susan dolls are so cute. Susan has a little tiny doll version of herself. Okay, and then lastly, we have the bedrooms, which is technically the attic. This was so hard to do, this, like, roof bit. But, I mean, overall, I think it's very... 
very accurate to the dollhouse. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed me turning this dollhouse into an actual house. This was super fun and I think the replica turned out pretty accurate and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!